This is part two of putting an operating system on a USB flash drive to run Kodi Media Center. Uh, part one, we talked about how to install it all onto the, the operating system, rather, onto the flash drive. And uh, I think my video cut off right on the end, but I managed to get it all in on that video. Now, this is the part where you install the Kodi Media Center onto that operating system, which is running off the USB flash drive, which you can see right here and all this operating system here that we're looking at is running off that USB flash drive. The first thing I was trying to tell you when we left off was to go down to uh, the right hand corner right here and make sure you are logged on to your internet right here. Uh, if you're not you'll see like a little red X when you click it uh, you'll see your Wi-Fi show up then it's just a matter of selecting your Wi-Fi and then waiting a, a moment or two just a few seconds maybe and you'll be uh, logged on to the internet. Then what you have to do to install Kodi is follow these instructions right here which again I hope to uh, put onto the bottom of this video so you can follow them at your uh, leisure, leisure, take your time. <laughs> this is what we do. To install Kodi on this new uh, flash drive operating system you go down to the left hand bottom of this screen which is the start button, the Z, and select it. Then you go up to the accessories, select terminal and uh, type the following uh, lines right here into terminal. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go down to the corner here where you can see, hopefully if I can focus this, that's the Z Zorin. It's the start button when I click it. We go up to accessories and when you get accessories you can see terminal as we go over and down, select terminal, click that, and then you have this pop-up and screen, which is your terminal editor. And what we need to do is put each of these lines in there one at a time. So I'm going to, if I can focus again, copy the first line, which is this one right here, sudo apt get, and let's say copy. So all I'm doing right now is copying that first line. Coming over to the editor, I right-click and say paste and you can see that line just popped in there and hit enter on my keyboard and let us do its thing as you can see it's trying to uh, do a few things there you know whatever it does all this computer stuff I don't fully understand it but it's doing something and it's going and now it's waiting for me to type in something else again you can see that cursor blinking so now we're going to take the second line right here and we're going to do the same thing. And we do that for each line. There's only four lines, so it doesn't take that much time. It's a little bit longer for me while I'm doing it here because I'm taking my time trying to select and look through the monitor at the same time here. <laughs> I just copy that, and over here I right-click and say Paste. And then I hit Enter on my keyboard, like this right here, just Enter. And of course, we wait for it to do its thing with that line. And it's asking me something, it says, uh, to continue, basically saying hit enter again. So I say yes, hit enter, which I just did. And now we're waiting for the line to finish. And I have the blinking uh, cursor down here. So now we know we got to go to the third line here and do the same. We're almost done, which is we're just going to copy that third line right here. Copy, come over to the terminal, right click and paste, hit enter on the keyboard. And again, wait for that line to do its thing. Looks like this one's taking a little bit longer. It's a bit more involved with that line as it's uh, doing an update, updating the Kodi. So we're just waiting now. And when it gets finished with this line, we'll do our final line. And lo and behold, we'll have Kodi installed just that easy. And then, of course, you have to set up Kodi as you like it. Here we have the cursor blinking again, so it's saying ready for the next line which is the final line of our information here. Installing Kodi, so I'm going to highlight that and say copy. And come over here to the editor, right click and say paste. Hit enter on the keyboard. And I was asking me, do you want to continue basically? So I just say Y for yes. Hit enter on the keyboard. Let it finish its thing. Basically just um, affirming any questions it asks me in, in this just keep an eye on your screen to do that. And it's counting up. I can read there uh, 25%, 26 and so on. We're just waiting now in real time. It goes through the setup here pretty quickly. And we're going to have Kodi Media Center on our operating system. 
And that about wraps up the uh, final um, line of coding there to, not Cody, but line of coding <laughs> to uh, set up the Cody on this new operating system running from a flash drive. So we can close out these uh, any screens here now. Just hit X and even my notes if I want to close them out. And down in the start corner again, down here in the corner, if I can get it to focus, click on the Z start and go up to, I think it's sound and video, yes, and you can see Kodi is already installed. So now when I click it, it will launch Kodi and then of course it's up to you to uh, program Kodi. And I do have other tutorials on my website, blog, that will uh, show you how to install Kodi as well, different options. I'm just going to click Kodi here now just to show you. And this is all running. It launched pretty quick as well. That's, pr that's pretty neat. And it's all running off the USB flash drive, which you can see right here. And now we have Kodi. So it's just a matter of programming the Kodi to uh, work on your system, how you want to have it, and install the different add-ons and so on. I'm just clicking various buttons here now uh, on the Kodi. But it's just a matter of going through that now and setting it all up, setting up the add-ons you like and so on and so forth. And that's how you put an operating system on a USB flash drive, as we've seen in video part one. And this video part two shows uh, basically how to install the Kodi on this operating system running from a flash drive. Thanks for tuning in.